Today we're going to be talking about why you are so lovable, what makes you attractive, and generally what makes you such an awesome person. This is Divine and Wild Tarot. I'm an energy reader and this channel is dedicated to pick a card reading, so if you're new here consider subscribing. And if you haven't done one of these before, all you have to do is pick a number between 1, 2, and 3, whichever number you are most drawn to. So without further ado, let's hop into group number 1. Okay, group number 1, what makes you so attractive and so lovable and so awesome? I like to shuffle my cards on camera so it comes out fresh and you guys get to see the magic as we go. Immediately, I can already tell you guys are such calm, chill people and people love that about you. you they just want to eat you up because you're so chill. Like, you'll be surprised. Some people are really not that chill and not that calm. They're just strung up and angry people like you know what I'm talking about there's a big difference between you know whether someone is really a high strung person versus a calm cool collective just someone that is like at peace with themselves and I feel like you guys you guys have that centered balance that aligned feeling about about yourself and that exudes into the room that you're in and people can see that and people can feel that from you when they are talking to you and interacting with you. You just have that um, thing about you where it's like you're really balanced and people, it's like, I want to compare you to like a monk almost. When you interact with a monk, you can just feel how much work they've done on themselves and how much time they've spent just exploring their inner worlds and understanding who they are as a person and how they are, how they fit into this universe energetically and how ever you just accept and deal with what's in front of you in a very calm way. Ace of Pentacles talks about someone that's also very business savvy, very good with finances, and because you're so cool, calm, and collected. They're able to, a person like that is able to make good business decisions and good financial decisions as well. So people think you're so awesome because you have this sense of, you have a business sense. It's like you have a nose for sniffing out a good a good business. If, you, if someone wanted to invest in a stock or invest in a business or invest in something, they like to run it by you and they just know that whatever business that you um, come across, it's like people have their ears wide open, their eyes wide open for the next thing you have to say about business because maybe they can also have a piece of the cake and a piece of the pie. They can invest into something that you're investing in and it will probably get, you know, rewarded as well, if that makes any sense at all. Like, I feel like you guys, your number one, are business savvy and you'll have an idea of what I'm trying to say to you guys. And um, yeah, the cool, calm, collected, just, it's like, you know, when you look at interviews of Warren Buffett, he's cool, calm, and collected. It's that vibe. It's like, the, per the person is, in this case, you are intelligent and you have this way of understanding life and business and everything under the sun. It's like you have this very logical way of going at understanding things. And also you have that patience to understand things instead of just, um, some people are just impatient about a lot of things, but you have that patience, that, that um, thing about your personality where you're able to be with yourself and be with the information that is presented to you. Again, we have another Pentacles card, so that speaks about... <laughs> what was I saying? Like, of course you got the Knight of Pentacles, and specifically the Knight of Pentacles... I'm sorry, my cat. I'm not sorry, but <laughs> this cat is all over the place. She's just gonna want to... Yeah, my cat is just going to want to be a part of the reading. 
Okay, like I was saying, of course you got the Knight of Pentacles because I was saying how money is just attracted to you in just magical, manifesty kind of ways because this person is just walking and minding his own business. Like I was saying, you guys are just so connected to yourself and the earth and the universe. And this this guy has like just barefoot on the grass and he's just chilling. He's got a horse just following him naturally because he doesn't need to force this horse to be with him. He's just got this thing about him or herself where it, the divine just follows him naturally and he's got this thing about him that whatever he's thinking about, whatever he puts his mind to, money is just gonna be drawn to him no matter what. You guys are really good at making money so people like find that really interesting how you're able to make such wise decisions on what what to do in life and in business and whatnot so that's really cool good for you guys it, whether you know it or not you guys are successful in or anyway that's how people see you this this reading is about how people what people find that is lovable and attractive and awesome about you right whether this is true or not to you this is we're talking about how people view you so people view you as a successful person people view you as someone that is able to make financial choices really well and business choices really well and you are able to go about life in a very cool calm collected way you're very connected to the universe you're very connected to spirit and the earth itself because i see that with the barefoot there you guys aren't just some materialistic stuck up businesswoman or businessmen you guys actually have um this connectedness to the world and that's how you make good business and life choices is because you're connected to the universe on such a deep level you're able to draw in information from the source to help you make these type of decisions um, again eight of wands this means just like more intuitive intuitive like i was literally just talking about the eight of wands i feel like you guys are able to just soak in the knowledge of the universe it's like these wands represent all the messages you guys get also it's, it talks about how laser focused you are in life and in what you want to do so when you are passionate about something people can see that you just rush right into it not in a hasty way not in a crazy chaotic way but in a like laser focused determined committed way yeah just it's like when you see something, you go right at it without any doubt in mind that that is the thing you should be doing. And you go right at it and that's how you get so much success out of it because you you put all your focus and energy into that thing and people can see that and they think it's awesome, it's inspiring. When you think something is right, when you see something that, it's blah, something that you should do, you go right at it and you go towards it in with full steam ahead. Number one, what makes you guys so lovable? Yeah, you guys are just super spiritual. When when they see you go through any kind of struggle, when people notice that you're going through any kind of unfortunate circumstance in life they actually see that you come out of it very fast as well and very gracefully the death card speaks about this specific situation about you guys is that um the ending of a cycle happens and it happens gracefully and you guys are able to just transform out of it in a very calm way if that makes any sense when you guys find yourself in a little bit of a pickle people can see that you're able to figure it out gracefully and that's really as a sweet and short of a message that is these new these three cards i just pulled it speaks about how when you go through any troubles you're able to see it as what it is and not turn it into something bigger than it needs to be and you just kind of wander like i'm looking at the face of this man over here and he it's not like he's struggling too much he realizes there is something that he needs to solve but it's not like 
it's not like he feels like he needs to overwork himself because it doesn't require too much of a how do I say this? Like you don't need to put too much work into solving this issue. You just have to see it for what it is. And then, okay, what can you do to make this not a problem or not an issue? And you guys are able to see for what it is and solve it very naturally and gracefully and not make it a bigger deal than it needs to be. And then you guys like, literally it feels like just a second later or a day later, you come through so beautifully and you come out of it um because we have this card here and it speaks so look how beautiful this imagery is like there's this family the kids are just prancing in the grass and it's all just blue skies and everything is good this couple is just basking in their beautiful life together and the house is perfectly upright and everything is good the grass is green the blue the sky is blue and you're just good to go so when people see you go through a struggle it's like as if you're able to just naturally get through it so easily and they're like how do they do that it's because they also see how um incredibly um yeah business savvy you are and how calm you are and how cool calm collected you are you guys this is the whole theme of your reading is that you guys are people see you as this awesome person that's able to make good choices in life oracle card for why group number one is so lovable okay <clears throat> you guys are really good at dealing with relationships and how you manage your friendships and your friend circle how you manage um your yeah, your relations with other people and it's not even just with people, but okay, this this card, of course you guys got this card because it talks about not just dealing with people, but dealing with spirit and mother nature and animals as well. So you have this magical divine way of dealing with everything and anything that is under the sun. Um, Let's read this card here. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So I feel like a lot of you in group number one are old souls. Um, definitely you guys have that um, knack, that upper hand, I want to say on dealing with people and dealing with um, your surroundings, your situations, and you understand that, and you get over these trials and tribulations so easily is because you're so aware that because you're facing it, it's actually a reflection of what you're going through internally as well. And people see and feel and have this sense of knowing that you are aware of these internal roadblocks or internal soul lessons that is reflected in your reality and that's with that awareness you're able to overcome these hurdles so fast and because you're approaching these because you're approaching these problems per se in life with such grand awareness you're able to tackle it in in like because people when they go through problems they like to blame other people or they don't really see the other side of the situation whereas when you go through a problem you actually look inward first which is so productive because that is how everything in any issue ever stems from is how you view yourself and what your relationship is with your environment and with the people around you if it triggers you then that means there's something within you that is still wounded that is still needs healing because otherwise if that thing didn't trigger you then you wouldn't have an issue with whatever it is that you are going through and you know that and you're able to overcome it really well and people see that it's like people don't want to mess with you because you are so much more wise like you, you people know that they can't face you they people know that you're very strong and that you are wise uh beyond your years 
and that's beautiful. Okay, let's pull some more oracle cards. What makes group number one so lovable? Yeah, honestly, as I feel like the more I keep pulling cards out, it's just gonna keep saying the same thing over and over again. Um, so let's go over this card quick though. Being with the flow, look how magical this is. You guys are just in complete divine flow of the universe and with your way of maneuvering through life and people think that that is so ma magnificent, ma majestic, magical and divine. Just how you're able to go through life so gracefully. They wonder how you do it and they also respect you for it and they also find inspiration from it. You're able to flow with the universe so well and this, this says here in the card, I am in the flow of the universe so that speaks it's it's a really straightforward card you guys are just able to go about life so gracefully and not find yourself stuck between a rock and a hard place you guys are total opposite of that you just go with the wave you just go with the universe and you just go with the flow of your day-to-day -day life and people can feel that and see that you're just flowing and you're having a good time and that's so beautiful. Let's do a yes or no pendulum. So whatever question you have in mind, we're just going to do a pendulum swing and you will get a yes or no to your question, okay? Yes or no, just the first question. It doesn't have to take a long time. Don't get into your head too much. Whatever question is first that pops up into your mind is the question that we are going to ask about, okay? And all right, keep that in your mind and let's go right into this. So yes or no to the question that group number one has. It is a very obvious no. It's a no. Whatever you asked, it's a no. So that's the message I have for you guys, group number one. I hope you found that insightful and helpful. If you did, consider giving it a giant thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in another reading. All right, group number two, let's find out what is so lovable about you as a person. What makes you so awesome? What makes you so lovable and attractive? So I'm gonna be shuffling the cards as we go. So it comes out fresh and you get to see them come out as we go. Oh, you guys are so passionate about so many things. Do you guys like to travel? Let's get more cards out makes them so lovable, so attractive. Group number two. You guys have gone through so much in life and people can see that about you. And But at the same time, you're able to remain so passionate about life. And right, like people see that even though you've gone through some hardships in life, you're still able to, to keep your head up high and be so happy and so joyful and so magnetic and so full of charisma and personality, even though people can see that you've gone through some not so good things, some S-H-I-T-T-Y situations in life, you're still able to be with the universe and be with people and still have a good time. And even though you have gone through some setbacks in life, you are still, you still portray a level of success in your life. People see that you are in this um, really powerful state of being. I do see you guys having a lot of um, passion in life. It's like, even though you have spilled some milk on the floor and spilled, have some things that didn't quite work out, you still have some really strong standing successes in your life, whether you feel it or see it, not, see it or not. Remember, this is a reading that how people view you instead of like how you actually are. Like this is how people perceive you as, right? And I do see though, um, they find it super adorable that you guys 
the way you deal with the struggles in life is really cute to some people if that makes any sense at all yeah like some when you guys are committed to something you're also able to actually commit and see things through and maybe that's it's it's like there's just stubbornness to you that makes you so fiery and so passionate it's like you just you're gonna keep going until you get it and people find that so inspiring it's like you never give up and you're never going to stop until you see the fruits of your labor in something um yeah when i see this fiery energy around you but i don't feel like all of you are fire signs you guys are able to attract the right people into your life and people see that okay clarity card on that please spirit right so whenever you guys come across some misfortunate events in your life you're able to gather the right people and ask the right questions and be with the right friends and the right type of people to solve your problem and i see you guys actually whether you feel it or not and you, you guys have a lot of supporting friends around you that are able to get you through the situation that you're going through in life <clears throat> you guys have a lot of success around you like i think people see like you guys are very honest and people love that you wear your heart on your sleeve most of the time and people love to see your energy fiery nature and how passionate you are about some of the things in life and okay let's get clarity on that one yeah you guys are so good at just trusting the situation trusting yourself most importantly people can see that i'm just trying to lay this out so these guys can see most of the cards here yeah you guys are really good at trusting the journey and trusting the flow of life and trusting the universe and where you're taking but mostly people can see how much you trust yourself and the ability to take yourself forward in life which is so magical and so beautiful good for you guys um okay yeah there's this sense of mastery because i see the all the passion and the fire coming out of you and the trusting and the light that surrounds you that people find you so magnetic about is because you're so strong like some of you guys must be tauruses but fire signs whether it's you're literally a fire sign or you have this fiery energy around you the fiery passion around you um, that helps you get the financial successes and and potentially businesses that some of you guys might own you guys are able to manifest that in such a beautiful way and i feel like this is coming off as also an advice to you guys group number two that um keep going because you're going in the right direction let's see what this says this is the master card um, as I was saying, you guys are really good at, you have the potential and you guys are able to master whatever you put your heart and mind and soul into and people can see that and they love it. It's magnetic. They love that you're so passionate about something. And when you are able to master something, you're so good at talking about it. And you know, when you meet someone and they go off on a tangent in a good way where they're so, they're so articulate about it and they're so um, just professional and not even professional but they're so articulate of the subject that they're into and you're like well this guy's this person knows so much about this thing i need to take some notes and it's so inspiring and so awesome that they're even um spewing all this these gems on the table and you're able to sort of benefit from all the passion that this person has for this thing if that makes any sense at all it's just the feeling I get when I tap into you guys' energy is this fiery, passionate, and people love seeing it. Yeah, there's a lot of green here and there's a lot of heart energy. So I'm literally using the, the, the screen deck. I don't know what, oh yeah, it's literally the heart something the heart i'm trying to read the box over there of 
what the name of this deck is called, but it's got a lot of that heart chakra energy around it. Not only that, the cards I specifically picked out for you guys are both green. So you guys have a really big heart. I mean, it shows in this card as well. You guys lead um, the way with your heart. And that also speaks about the passion that comes out from you. And that's why your friends and the people around you that helped you with your success is drawn to as well is because you have a giant heart and you're not just carelessly going around with your heart open. It's that you're also smart about how you handle the situation. And it's because you're so divinely connected to source with your heart energy, you're led in the right direction by source as well. So it's because you're willing to work with source, source is also willing to work with you. You're able to make business and financial gains and also progress further into in your life in such a magnetic way that is inspiring to people. Oh my God. Okay. Like, what was I saying? Um, opening to love. My heart is open. So we have so much heart energy here. I thought I was just making it up uh, two minutes ago, but no, we are getting literally about five confirmations about your heart energy. And this is more about passion and fire and how you are literally a boat and a truck full of love. And people can feel that, that's so awesome. I love you guys for it. You guys have so much love to give and passion to give. And it's not just romantic love, but also love for what you do and love for your friends and the love that you bring to the table and in the way that you cook your food and the way that you dress yourself, you just exude the energy of love and people find that really magnetic and lovable and awesome about you as a person that you are so lovable and because the reason why you're so lovable is because you are able to love everything and anything and everything that you do so openly. That is absolutely amazing group number two that you're able to go through life in such an open-hearted way and this is how people see you is that you're so open and that you're so passionate and that you're able to just take things with such a loving passionate way in business, in life, in friendships, and in romance. So uh, let's do the pendulum swing now. So whatever question comes to mind, we're going to get a yes or no to your question. And this should not take much time at all. Whatever question that pops up first is exactly the question that you want to ask and clarify right away. So it will only take a literally a split second to find your question that you want a yes or no to. So keep that in mind and let's find out yes or no to the question that group number two has. So it is a yes, it is an obvious yes. So whatever your question is that you had today, answer is yes. I hope you guys found this helpful and insightful. And if you enjoyed this reading, consider giving it a giant thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in another reading. Bye for now. All right, group number three, let's find out what makes you so lovable. I'm going to be shuffling the deck as we go so they come up fresh and so you guys can see what comes out as we go. What makes group number three so lovable, so attractive, and so awesome? Oh, you guys are just such magical human beings. I can already tell. And this reading today, everyone has got this kind of abundant streak. People, and you know what? Whether this is true or not to you, this is a reading about how people view you, right? Whether this is true or not, if you're really experiencing this in your own life or not, this is how people think you are. They feel like you guys have money. They feel like you guys have financial success. They feel like whatever you put your foot season, you get money out of it almost right away. And they're like, how do you do it? How? Tell me your secret. Yeah, like, well, also they see you as frugal. But how do you say it? Frugal? Frugal people. And it's because you're being frugal with life and 
It's not about frugality though. It's that you guys are able to spend wisely and spend not frivolously, but you know what to do with your money and you're not super hasty about it. And it's because of this ability to be careful with your money, you're also able to be rewarded with all of these magnificent things in life because you're planned with how you, where you put your finances and where you put your investments. But I see, I see that people think you're so awesome is because you're so good with money. You know, I was hoping to go for more of like a personality situation here, but I mean, this is what's coming out, right? Is that there's pentacles happening here and the world is also about abundance and about things turning out to be your favor. So that's another point. It's like people think that everything that you do, it just comes out in your favor. Okay. Stepping into the stillness, my power is born in the majesty of silence. Okay, so these cards are together here. So the fact that you're so, it's like you, there's a stillness with, with who you are. You're not mysterious, but I feel like, okay, if I thought that, then that means, excuse me, let me find more messages so it comes out as a more complete message for you guys. Oh, that is so beautiful. You guys are gentle people. I feel that. You guys are gentle about things. Yeah. So some of you guys come off as dingy with money, but some of you guys, but then on the flip side, it's like you come off stingy, but you also come off as very abundant. Like you have this magnetic um, financial thing about you where money just comes flocking at you. That's how people view you is that money just comes flocking at you, but then you're also careful with how you spend it. Um, and also you're very, okay, we got this as well, emerging into grace. I open my soul. <clears throat> is this going to focus? I open my soul to grace. You, you guys are able to just chill and go with, go, just go with it. You guys are able to be calm, cool, and just, you guys have this, um, what's that vibe when someone is just so, still it's it's the word stillness you guys are very um zen with the way you portray yourself and the way you hold yourself the way you carry yourself has got this calm energy to it you guys are very soft in some ways soft in how you interact with your friends and your environment and your situation and your people but when and it's because you're so graceful and so soft about life and people and situations. That's why nature and the universe is working through you so gracefully. Nature, mother nature itself is very soft in nature. Like it's mother nature, right? So it's got a lot of feminine energy. And you guys, whether you're a guy or girl watching this, you have that um, feminine energy energy that you carry. I'm really drawn. I'm using this deck right now and it's got all the butterflies in it and all the um, the yellow and the orange, which is so beautiful. It's like, it reminds me of the sun and butterflies are just delicate, but beautiful. And it symbolizes transformation and <clears throat> the death and rebirth in such a beautiful, magical, divine way. And I'm not usually drawn to the back of the deck, just the design of every single card. But with you guys, I am drawn to that imagery. So we have this here, the give back card. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So 
some of you guys are, I feel like are coaches or want to be coaches. But besides that, if you're not a coach or any form of that, I do see anyway, in general, people see you as a very giving, kind hearted person, a kind hearted soul that whenever they talk to you, they get really good advice from and they're very excited and eager to talk to you because you have so much to give and so much to offer, especially advice. Hope your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point, whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there's always hope. So when people are struggling, somehow you show up in their life and you give them hope. Not only that, people see you um, as such a kind, awesome person because when you're going through something, they can see that the universe has your back and it gives them hope that when they're going through something that the universe has their back as well. Group number three, what makes you so lovable? You guys are such healers. You guys are so graceful and you guys have this there's something very healing about you guys. There's something so beautiful about you guys. Like you guys are so, you guys are healers for sure. No doubt in mind, you guys are healers and that is what's going on. So whenever you see something, you guys are really good at moving on from things as well. People love that about you. It's like, <laughs> When something's not working out, they can, your friends and people around you can see that you just move right along really gracefully. I mean, you might guys must have gone through something in the past where it was really hard, but now you've learned um, that when something isn't working out, you know when to move on, you know when to close the chapter and head on to your next best thing in life. And it's because you have so much understanding of healing, of um, being with the light, and because karmically you've given so much to people around you that you have all this karmic healing energy coming back at you um, to help you move from one chapter to the next in your life. However, how... However, the difficulty of the situation is sometimes, it's, you know, it takes a minute to move on from things, to heal, to grieve, to, um, but in your case, you're able to gracefully walk away and continue uh, moving on to the next best thing. You guys are just, I feel like you guys are just such effortless people and that's how people see you as well. They're just, how is this person going through life so effortlessly and having such a good time? and doing so well and they can feel how developed you are spiritually as well um, <laughs> another healing card reach out you have so much support around you people can see that it's like you guys have clout if that i think that's the right word yeah you guys have clout where as in people around you support your message and agree with how you live your life and look up to how you live your life and it's like you are the leader in your circle you are the leader in your industry and you are the leader in how to live life in a fun majestic awesome way that you are embodying and people see that and they think that that's so awesome about how you go about life Joy and stability. Again, everything that I'm seeing is just going to keep repeating itself because the biggest theme about this group number three, whoever's watching this, you guys have very magnetic, like it's a golden, it's healing. Like there's so much gold here. There's so much healing energy here. There's so much going with the flow and hope. And you guys, it's like you guys have that Mother Teresa energy happening here. You guys are just able to manifest what you're looking for and have this very admirable um a joyful state of being where you're able to magnetically attract um the things that you want in your life so that is beautiful 
<clears throat> okay, last message for group number three. What makes you guys so lovable? Yeah, you guys are able to just think of the next thing and you guys just go right after it. You guys have a really clear vision of what you want. And it's like there's, if you if this was you, I just have that sense that there are like hundreds of people behind you watching you in this stance. Like, where is she going to go next? Where is he going to go next? What's going through his or her mind? What What's he or she going to do? She's got the surfboard. She's ready to go. All the fires are going. They're blasting out for you. The sky, the universe is, is you know, wide open skies for her or him to, you know, you know, use the divine source energy to do whatever this person wants to do. And they're wondering where is she or he going to go next? What's happening next? And people are eager to um, see what's going to happen. So group number three, let's do a pendulum swing. Yes or no. The first question that comes to mind is the question that you'll have so it, this shouldn't take more than a split second to think of your question whatever the question is keep that in your mind now and let's find out if it's a yes or no it's a yes whatever question you had in mind it's a yes all right so that is your reading group number three if you enjoyed this consider giving this a giant thumbs up otherwise i will see you in another video bye for now